hours of 10 is um, traditionally are used in a scientific type of environment where someone is trying to communicate a number that's just unfathomable or or not able to be understood by the, by the mind unless it's summarized or kind of broken down. So they use exponents or exponents are used. An exponent is a number written above and to the right of a digit to show how many times to use that digit as a factor. So if you look down here at 10 to the third power, the 3 is the exponent and 10 is the factor. So what this is telling you to do is to multiply 10 by itself three times. The 3 is telling you to do it three times and the 10 is telling you what number to use three times. So 10 to the third could easily be communicated, more easily be communicated than 10 times 10 times 10. So uh, make sure that you get this written down, a number written above and to the right. See how the 3 is above and to the right. And it shows how many times to multiply this digit by itself. And what's important about powers of 10 is you can use a power of 10 to multiply. You can divide by a power of 10. And it's just telling you how many times realistically, really, how, to move the, how many times to move the decimal. So if you guys need to pause right here to take these notes, this is a great time to get up and do that. And then play whenever you're ready. Here I just want to kind of show you um, what the powers of 10 really stand for when you, you can memorize these very easily, but 10 to the first power is just 10 one time. So it's 10 times 1 really, so 10 to the first power is 1, I mean 10, 10 to the first power is 10. 10 to the second power is 10 multiplied by itself twice, so 10 times 10. You see how 10 shows up two times, there's your 2. And the number you're using is 10. There's your 10. And 10 times 10 is 100. So you could easily memorize 10 to the second power is 100. 10 to the third power, 10 three times. 1, 2, 3, and that's 1,000. The exponent, when used with the 10 here, only when used with a 10, shows how many zeros there will be in, that, um, in the answer. So you're going to take 10 and however many, whatever the exponent says, that's how many zeros will be in that number. So 10 to the first power, you only have one zero. 10 to the second power, you have two zeros. 10 to the third power, you have three zeros. So you could easily see a pattern that 10 to the fourth power will have how many zeros? four zeros, and, uh, and a one with four zeros behind it is 10,000. From there, 10 to the fifth power, five zeros, that would be 100,000. So, so imagine you're getting up to, say we got up to 10 to the 14th power. That would be a one with 14 zeros behind it. Not a number that we can easily see or understand, but you would know that it was a huge number, right? It's getting bigger and bigger every time that exponent goes up. When multiplying by a power of 10, move the decimal as many times as the exponent reads. Okay, so what that's saying is you're going to be given a number and you're going to multiply by a power of 10 or 10 with an exponent. Okay, that 3 right here is going to tell you how many times that you need to move that decimal to the right because your number is getting bigger. So 61.7 and you're going to move the decimal 3 times to the right. I want you to kind of think about that for a minute. So I'm going to pause and just want you to think about it. See if you think you can solve it. And I want you to pause. I'm going to go get a marker. Okay, so let's look at how this could, would be solved. Here's your question. 
61 and 17 times 10 to the third power. So this 3 right here, only if connected to a 10. Now this only works if it's connected to a 10. This 3 is showing you how many times to move that decimal to the right. So when you multiply powers of 10, you're moving it to the right because that number is growing. It's getting bigger. So we're going to move it three times. We're going to pick it up. We're going to move it one time to the right, two times to the right, three times to the right, and we're going to put it right here. Okay. Well, you have some empty, uh, they, they can be called egg crates or they can be called empty nests. Well, you want to fill them in with eggs, okay, or zeros. So your new number, when you take out your decimal and all the work, 6, 1, 7, 0, 0, the decimal's here, and you need your comma here because 1, 2, 3, comma. So 61.7 times 10 to the third power is 61,700, okay? So... All that you need to gain from this right here is that you have a number and you're going to manipulate or change that number based on what this exponent says by the power of 10. So you're moving it one place every time for each exponent that you have there. And imagine, let's think back, let's think deeper into this. 10 to the third power, when we looked at this slide here, 10 to the third power was 1,000, right? So, if you multiply 61.7 by 1,000, and that looks like this, 61.7 times 1,000, you've done this. You count the zeros, 1, 2, 3, and you move it that many spaces. So, that's the same answer. This is just a more simple way of writing it and understanding it. You need to understand that... 10 to the third power is the same as 1,000. But a trick or a way to do it kind of quickly is to just take that exponent and move it that many times to the right. Now, dividing by powers of 10 is a piece of cake or a piece of pie. This is my pie. Okay, it's a piece of pie because it's the same as multiplying by powers of 10. Except when you're dividing your number is not going to get larger, it's going to get smaller. So you're going to be moving your decimal to the, to the left when you divide. Okay? So just like on our last slide, we moved it to the right, we're going to move it to the left. So this question, 764 and 3 tenths, divided by 10 to the second power. This 2 tells us that we need to move 2 to the left. Division tells us left. 2, and the exponent tells us which way to go. So here's our number, 764.3, and we're going to move it 2 to the left. So here we go, picking it up, moving it one time, which is between the 6 and the 4, and one more time, which is between the 7 and the 6. Rewrite it so that we can get rid of our work. And our new number is 7 and 643 thousandths. Okay? So, you are just, you got, you're showing your location, you're given your location by your symbol, and you're given how many times to move it by your X phone, and you just have to shift that decimal to the right place. Now, I want you to try this. You have 461 and 49 hundredths times 10 to the first power. Okay? So, you're multiplying here. And then you have another question, so there are two questions here, 89 and 73 hundredths divided by, so you're gonna, your number should be getting smaller, 10 to the second power, okay? So what you're, you should be thinking about is, hey, multiplication, which direction am I moving my decimal? And then here, hey, I'm dividing, what direction do I move my decimal? And then your next, your next thought should be, how many times am I moving it? Oh, let me read my exponents, okay? Let, I want you to try these two, and then, um, so press pause, try these two, and then come back. Okay, so multiplication means you're moving your decimal to the right, and you're moving it to the right one time. 
So you would pick it up and move it between the four and the nine. So your new answer is four, six, one. Nope, gotta take that out. Can you have two decimals? 4.9. Make sure you put that comma in there. Okay, so that number grew by one power of 10. It just moved one time. You're dividing here, so you're moving it to the left. And so you're going one, two. So now you're sitting in front of the eight. So that would be decimal eight, nine, seven, three. And just to make sure that everybody's aware that that is a decimal there, put you a zero in front to hold that place.